Welcome back everybody. Today we'll be continuing on with the 350. So as we're going to be doing today is going over some block prep. So the first thing I want to do is just consistently hone these cylinders and see how they turn out. I've done a couple of them here and I could see you know, the usual low there, the ridge there, but there's not, you can't really catch a finger on it so I think it should be okay. Um, this one seems a bit more aggressive than the other ones, but um, we'll just work our way through all the cylinders with the hone and see how everything turns out. So there we go, it's a couple passes, it's less than ideal but I don't have heaps of money to spend on this thing. We'll continue on. So I've just given the bore a so we've just given the block a quick hone. So have a squeeze at these bores right here. They're looking pretty sad, but yeah, not not great, not great. But uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, we'll mic it up, see how out of round, all that sort of shit, and then try and um, do it until we try and clean as much of it up without making the cylinder too big. And uh, we'll go from there. All we're using at the moment to lubricate our stones is diesel. And uh, it's slippery, so it works. So we've sort of uh, finished our honing. We've turned out all right. We probably don't want to go much more than that. We don't want to make it any bigger than we want to. But it looks all right. Good enough for what I think we're doing. And we uh, started cleaning it up. Starting to scrape gasket surfaces off. We want to get this perfectly clean, as good as we can. And um, then probably tomorrow, we'll try and go to the paint off paint stripper and make it all nice and clean. So off camera I decided to chuck in a piston and put the crank back in and all that sort of shit. I wanted to find out what my deck clearance was and I found out these pistons actually sit 20 thou deeper in the hole than standard. So I've got 45 thou of deck clearance, which is horrible. That's going to give me like 8.8 .8 or 8.5 8 to 1 with 64 cc heads, which is not good. So um. I'm not using these because I'm not putting that back together again with eight and a half to one comp. So I'll be going to a flat top. But uh, so uh, a bit more dollars, but I think that's the uh, no. We ain't putting this back together with these pistons. That's just not good. It also doesn't help that these pistons also have dish in them as well, and how far they sit in the hole. So another reason to change these guys out. So before we get to properly cleaning the block, we should probably pull out like these plugs and the dipstick tube and Welsh plugs and all that sort of shit. So um, I'll get the, uh, the flame torch out because these plugs don't usually like to come out without some heat. I like using the flame. Good fun that thing. Now we get our bar onto it. Should just easy. Just like that. A dipstick tube should be able to get out with a hammer and a screwdriver. Maybe. There we go. And we still got all the plugs to do. Yeah, and repeat that for all of them. So I've got the block outside now and I'm just using diesel as a degreaser. Got the hose, cleaning all the muck off. There's not a whole lot, but uh, clean it up and then I'll get the red paint off so we can paint it something different. So the block is back inside and I've made sure I've wiped down, got all the water out of the bores first because they're the main thing I don't want to rust. And I'll blow the rest of it off with the compressor. That's the first stage of 
cleaning that's just the bulk get all the mud and that sort of stuff off but uh you know still got that bit of gasket removed and all that sort of stuff and also i want to try and go over the whole block with the wire wheel to see how much loose paint there is because i'm changing the color so now this is all dry I've realized as well that these holes have blocked up so they have to be sorted out and I'm going to go over the whole thing with a wire wheel and get rid of that paint. So I've now got the block back inside, I've got it all cleaned up, it's had its session to paint stripper and I've cleaned off well, the stuff that come off easy. Um, also, uh, it's, it's already had its final wash, so it's went through everything with hot soapy water, so there's no oil film or anything. So now it's just prepping it for paint. So that means masking it up and uh, wax and grease remover and probably go over it with a blowtorch. Okay, so I've got the block all taped up, I've gone over it with some wax and grease remover and uh, now we'll get our primer sorted because it's bare steel, well most of it is, and uh, we'll lay that on now. So now we've got the block fully in primer, so I've let that sit for a while and uh, I needed the primer because I was going to, it was on bare steel and also it gives it a good base for the colour to be uniform over the whole thing when we spray that on, which is what we're about to do now. All I'm doing right now is just going over the block with a heat gun, trying to just get a little bit of heat in it so it's not cold when we put paint on it. So we are using two pack paint, we've decided to go with titanium grey as our colour. So we'll get it all mixed up and start spraying. <coughs> Not that line, Joe. Just a smidge. do for thinners. Now it's hard. Oh, I should have put gloves on, shouldn't I? So, the block's now in colour. It looks pretty awesome. We'll uh, peel the tape off and see what it looks like underneath. So we're going to pull the tape now. Sorry we didn't get great filming while I was painting it because Zach who's filming doesn't have a respirator. We know it would die. So uh, let's uh, peel it away. Oh, 
start from. I don't want to live in wet steel, so you get nickel, might take chunks of the paint off. So that's the colour on the block, it is turned up pretty awesome. Once you put all the other stuff on, it'll look a million bucks. So that'll be it for today's video on the 350 build. I've got it in paint, got the block all prepped up, ready to go for reassembly. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.